September 26, 1718. Right here where we are standing, you'd be hearing the sound of cannon fire and occasionally guys with British accents yelling expletives at each other when their ships ran aground. Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel, the Blue Creek Detectors. I'm down here just south of Wilmington in the town of Southport, North Carolina. I'm doing a bit of a pirate pilgrimage. <laughs> yeah, join me down here in eastern Atlantic coastal North Carolina. See what all we find out. Stade Bonnet, also known as the Gentleman Pirate, was ambushed here while he's careening his ships by Captain William Rett. They had a 24 hour long battle here. Here in a few minutes, I'm going to go see the monument to State Bonnet. But right here, right behind me, that's where that battle took place. It wasn't any town or anything here at that point, but it was a common place right here in the Cape Fear Inlet for pirates to. Uh, ambush other ships and to careen their ships in the rising and lowering tides. That's cool. They called him the Gentleman Pirate. He was born into a high-class family and lived on Barbados. He had a family of his own uh, and at one point he had a ship built in secret. Then he hired a crew and left one day just totally out of nowhere. Apparently, he was quite successful in the beginning. He even met Blackbeard while they were uh, in Honduras. I read somewhere that Blackbeard, when he first saw him, stayed bonnet said, Ahoy! Brethren of the coast! Blackbeard looked out his window, looked up at his clean shave and periwig, beautiful periwig, and laughed, <laughs> busted out laughing. I think that's really funny. That's really interesting. The feats of Stead Bonnet were very close to where I live, so I wanted to come down here, do uh, a feature on him, and I hope you enjoy. Now here on down the street, is a monument to the memory of State Bonnet because right over there is the creek entrance to Bonnet's Creek that is named after him. State Bonnet, the gentleman pirate, used the mouth of this creek as a hideout for his vessel, the Royal James, formerly called the Revenge. Here on September 26, 1718, the Great Battle of the Sandbars was fought between the pirates and the men sent to capture them under the command of Colonel William Rett aboard the Henry and Sea Nymph. After a 24-hour battle, there were 19 men killed, 23 wounded, and Bonnet, with the remains of his pirate crew, surrendered. On November 8, 1718, 29 of the pirates were hanged in Charleston, South Carolina. A few weeks later, holding a cluster of flowers in his manacled hands, Gentleman Stead Bonnet met the same fate on the gallows. This part of the Cape Fear was a favorite meeting place for pirates, including the notorious Blackbeard and Marianne Blythe, the woman buccaneer. That is cool. But right there is the main inlet that kind of snakes its way through here. I can only imagine, so right over there is where uh, Mr. Bonnet was careening his ships. Right around the corner there is Bonnet's Creek. And that there's an island right there and you can tell just how much the tide rises and falls. But yeah, I, I mean, you can imagine back in the day, too, the water level was just slightly lower. And it, I mean, it would just go up and down, up and down. And this is also 
been dredged by the Navy many times. So right here, right through here was where the battle took place. I mean, boom, 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 back and forth. I believe it was five or six ships that took place in this battle. But every time that they ran aground in the sandbars, even throughout the night, they would start yelling expletives at each other. You know, just think about that in like an old timey British accent. I don't know. I think it's cool. is now called New Topsail Inlet. So here, right behind me there, pirate ships back in the 16, 1700s, they used to, they used to wait there till they could see out there some British ships, Spanish ships, what have you. They would wait there uh, to ambush these ships from this little area. That's why they call it Topsail because where this inlet is, Right across the horizon there, you could barely see the top sail of some of those pirate ships. And that's how this island got its name. Also, uh, I've read anyway. But it's, uh, it's about high tide right now. I've already walked about a mile from our beach umbrella. I don't know if I'm going to find anything, but the fact is I'm here. And Blackbeard, Stead Bonnet... All of them were right here. Some of them conducting raids right out of this inlet. And that's cool enough. So I'm going to do a little detecting here on the high tide line because that's where I believe the most oldest stuff is. Let's see what happens. All right, I've been zigzagging and zigzagging and I've only found some shredded aluminum. Now before you say, Isaac, you're crazy. Why would you even look around uh, that little area and all that? Because up in Rhode Island, right here on like a, kind of like this incline, like uh, just below it, is where I found that, that giant silver half dollar. So I know old stuff is washed on the high tide line. If you really want to look for old stuff, it's the high tide line. Cause that's when all the big storms and stuff blow everything in so uh i don't know so far i haven't found anything except for shredded aluminum same as uh puerto rico so uh i'm gonna start heading back to the uh to the umbrella and uh yeah i might end up calling it a day i don't want uh, to stay out here too long it's probably already getting a little red yeah let's see Look at this signal. I don't know what it is, but it's uh, it's getting better. Let's see. coin here and it's a dime <laughs> uh, yep it's actually one of my first signals of the day good uh, good job topsail you are one of the most trash free beaches I've ever detected it is quiet 
It has been quiet most of the day. Wow. Nice C-130J flying there. So doing, doing all the research on this place, I did learn one thing. So when you do a lot of research on like Blackbeard the Pirate, for example, and uh, Stayed Bonnet, it talks about topsail, inlet. And that's where Blackbeard maroons some of Stead Bonnet's crew on a sandy island. Well, that is actually north of here at Beaufort Inlet. That used to be called Topsail Inlet back in the 1700s, 1600s. So this is actually not the real Topsail. This one you actually see annotated as New Topsail Inlet. But yeah, that's just uh, good to know. In fact, they found, uh, they believe they found Queen Anne's Revenge uh, up there at Topsail, uh, up at Beaufort Inlet is where it was. But yeah, pretty cool to, to look into. So I also paid the Missiles and More Museum in Topsail Beach, North Carolina, a good visit. They had a very interesting pirate exhibit. Check it out. Mm -hmm. 